Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be checking out the best options or settings for Greenville. Alrighty, so about a few months or a few weeks ago, we got a brand new options or settings menu right here. So I thought we should check out the best settings for Greenville. So yeah, if you do end up enjoying today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and smash that like button for the best settings. Trust me, it works. Anyways, let's waste no more time and get right into the settings and options. Alright, so let's check out the vehicle options here. So the first thing we have here is acceleration intensity. Alrighty, so the options available with the setting happens to be instant and slower. And overall for myself, I have it set instant. A lot of people have said that the slower option is a pretty good setting, so if you do want to try it out, go ahead and try it. Alrighty, so the next option we have here happens to be automatic emergency braking. This is actually a pretty useful option if you are role playing. In my opinion, if you're not role playing, I'd say this is not a useful feature. It can somewhat be annoying. So if you want a realistic feature, I'd say go ahead and enable it. But at the same time, if you're a new player and you're like in a public server, I'd say this is not really a useful option. So anyways, in my opinion, I'd say it's a pretty useful option. So if you do want to enable it, go ahead and give it a try. Alrighty, so the next option we have here happens to be the auto flip vehicle. This is an option I do not have enabled. I'd say this is also another feature for roleplay because because if somehow you flipped your car, it would not automatically flip. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna try to recreate this if I can, so you guys will see how this happens. There we go. Alrighty, so I finally recreated a flip and here you go. So as you can see, we automatically do not flip. We actually have to click this button right here to actually flip. If you're role playing, your vehicle doesn't automatically just flip. So yeah, this is a useful feature for role play, but I'd say not useful if you're just starting out the game or if you're in a public server. So yeah, all you gotta do is just flip your car like this and you're free to go but overall a pretty useful feature i'd say so what i'd recommend is having it disabled no 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 oh my gosh no but if you're a new player go ahead and enable it so you can automatically flip Alrighty, so the next option we have here happens to be the auto hold brakes but i have it set as enabled so alrighty, so the next option we have here happens to be the auto start vehicle and let me show you guys a quick breakdown so as you can see if i spawn my car right here it automatically starts and you're just able to drive but if you have this feature disabled you actually have the option to start up your own car which is very realistic in my opinion it's in between enabled or disabled it doesn't really matter if you want to start up your own vehicle realistically go ahead and disable this feature but if you want to auto start your vehicle go ahead and enable the setting that's actually the option i have Alrighty, so the next option we have here happens to be the braking intensity we have instant and slower i have it set at instant here's why so as you can see if i actually hop into my lexus here we can actually test this out as you can see my brakes are instant but if i switch the setting to slower you guys will see it's kind of more realistic but at the same time it's quite annoying i'm pretty sure not a lot of people use the slower option but if you want to try it out yourself go ahead but what i'd recommend is instant overall it's just better it's more organized and overall it's amazing. Alrighty, so the next option we have here happens to be the vehicle collision. Alrighty, so if you do have this disabled, you will be able to drive through vehicles. But if you do have it enabled, you will be able to crash into cars. So I'd say have it enabled. Alrighty, so the next thing we have here happens to be the adaptive FOV. Alrighty, so the options available with this setting happens to be low, medium, high, excessive, and disabled, or subtle. And I don't know if a lot of you guys are going to agree with me when I say low is pretty good. Also, subtle. Here's why. So if I have it set to, let's say, high, and we hop into my car here, I don't really notice a change. I mean, yes, I kind of do. Overall, it's kind of annoying and I don't like having it at a high, but subtle's also pretty good too. So if we do check out the excessive here, this is probably the highest category for this. Let's check this out. A terrible setting. This is terrible. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Should I play with the worst FOV in Greenville? Because that will definitely be a challenge because look at this. This looks so weird. And yeah, it just overall looks very weird. And yeah, 
this is terrible. Overall, my opinion would be subtle or low. But if you do want to try out medium, go ahead and give it a try. Anyways, the next setting we have here happens to be the gauge style. This is a pretty cool option here, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I've already made a completely different video on this, but I'm still going to review it in today's video. So if you do want to check out that video, I will have a link in the description down below where I go into more detail and things like that. Alrighty, so the gauge shells we have here happens to be dynamic, standard, and advanced. And right now, the best gauge style out there would be dynamic. Overall, I'd say that. Alrighty, so here's the dynamic gauge style. It's actually really, really cool. It's pretty interactive as well. So if you do want to check this out, it even has GPS, which you can actually use from your phone. So if I set a destination here, let's say to Burger Night. And if I go back to my GPS here, as you can see, it actually has GPS that actually works. So that's why I'm saying it's the best gauge out there. But if I had to recommend another gauge, I'd say the standard one is definitely the second best one very nice i have not used this gauge in a while because i switched to the dynamic gauge when it got released so yeah overall this is probably the second best gauge but let me know in the comment section down below what do you use Alrighty, so the next setting we have here happens to be the gear shifting so the options available with this setting happens to be the realistic and arcade Alrighty, so here's how the arcade works if i go into drive here and reverse or break I will go automatically into reverse but i'd say the best setting for gear shifting happens to be realistic Alrighty, so the next thing we have here happens to be the kick down behavior i'm not 100 percent sure how this works the best option would be on anyways the next setting we have here happens to be the steering speed so the options available with this setting happens to be medium fast slow so for myself i have it set at medium but if you really want to test out the fast we can actually test it out right now i don't know how different it'd be oh my wow that's a lot better actually i'm not gonna lie fast is actually pretty cool i like it but yeah i think low is also pretty good too so let's actually test that out or slow let's actually test that out right now it's about the same with medium it's about the same but try it out for yourself because you might have a completely different choice anyways the next thing we have here happens to be the final setting for vehicle which happens to be wind shake so the options available with this setting happens to be low medium high excessive and disabled or subtle so basically how this works as you can see your screen is shaking because you are driving at high speeds and overall it's not really my favorite option but yeah but if i had to recommend a setting i had it set at low but if you want to be an excessive player go ahead and put it at excessive Alrighty, guys so let's actually check out the audio options now let's check this out Alrighty, so the only option we have here happens to be dealership music this is really an option for content creators not gonna lie you're probably asking why it's because of copyright sometimes content creators do not trust music in games because it could lead to copyright claims or strikes so this is a really really useful feature for content creators but if you also do hate the dealership music you do have the option to disable it alrighty guys so our next category happens to be graphics let's check this out alrighty so the first setting we have here happens to be render distance this setting manages how far you can see in the map alrighty so the options available with this setting are auto very low low medium high ultra and this warning also pops up ultra may introduce game play performance problems we recommend only using up to the high so proceed with caution that is a pretty cool pop-up so if you do have a low end pc you do not want to use the ultra option greenville recommends the high category instead i'm gonna say the medium or high category is what i recommend i do not recommend the ultra unless you have a high end pc that can actually manage the ultra setting Alrighty, guys so the next setting we have here happens to be global shadows and yeah you have the option to set it to auto so as you can see off you have no more shadows and i'd recommend auto Alrighty, so the next setting we have here happens to be tree density this setting manages how many trees will appear on the map high or low but yeah if you do have a low end pc go ahead and put it down to low but if you do have a gaming pc go ahead and put it to high Alrighty, guys so the next thing we have here happens to be joystick steering dead zone i have no idea what the setting is but they do recommend that you leave this at 5 to 20. Alrighty, so the next thing we have here happens to be ragdoll physics. Alrighty, so I'm pretty sure this works whenever you get hit. So if you do get hit by a car, you will ragdoll. But if you do have the setting disabled and you get hit by a car, you should not ragdoll. Alrighty, guys, so the final category we have here happens to be my server. This is something you can manage in your own 
own private servers. Alrighty guys, so the first option we have here happens to be job fires. This setting supposedly sets buildings on fire. So if you don't want jobs to be on fire, disable this setting. I have it enabled. Alrighty, so the next option we have here happens to be spawn NPCs. This is for the interactable jobs feature. So if you do have this disabled, NPCs will not spawn in at interactable jobs. So I'd highly recommend to have this enabled. And the next option we have here happens to be spike strips effect. We have criminals and everyone. The best option for this, I'd say, is criminals only. And the final setting we have here happens to be curbs pop tires. I'd say have this to say. It's a very, very annoying feature, and I don't think you'll need it when you're in a private server, and so you won't have to respawn your vehicle every five minutes. But yeah, guys, that is all the options in Greenville, and that is the best settings and options in Greenville. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below, what settings or options would you recommend? And yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and smash that like button for the best settings. Trust me, it works. Anyways, that's about it. Hope you guys did enjoy, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.